learn with me. Four, five, six, calendar and weather picks. Seven, eight, nine, it's circle time. Now we're gonna stomp. Stomp, 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 stomp. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Side to side. One, two, three, come learn with me. Four, five, six, calendar and weather pick. Seven, eight, nine, it's circle time. Now we're gonna jump. Jump, jump, run in place. Turn around and then sit down. Boys and girls, I've brought a book from home. It's called The Big Farm Book. Let's take a look inside and see if we can learn some things about farms. Oh my goodness, look it. Here's a picture of things around the farm. Do you know who he is? That's the farmer. A farmer can be a man or a lady or both. So this man lives on the farm and he lives in a big white house. Can you see the white house? How about this? No, that's not white. There's the white house right there. That's the barn where the animals stay. And he has some pets on the farm. He has a dog that helps him keep all the animals where they belong. And he also has a cat. That's probably just his pet. So we also, on some farms, farmers need farm machines. They need tractors and pickup trucks and forklifts to lift all the heavy, heavy um, hay. Look over here, there's an all-terrain vehicle. That's so that the farmer can go around the farm because sometimes they're very large. And here's the combine harvester. That's what um, makes the wheat into hay bales. Some farmers grow crops. That means the food that they grow. Some farmers grow potatoes, some farmers grow rice. If you live somewhere warm, maybe the farmers grow grapes and oranges and tomatoes, maybe even coffee beans and carrots, which is your favorite. I think I like the grapes the best. Maybe the farmer grows apples or corn, or maybe in some countries the farmer grows uh, tea or maybe you have seen this before. You might have even gone to a farm that grows one of those. That's a pumpkin. Some farmers have animals. This farmer has cows. He must be a dairy farmer. That means that he has cows that make milk and the milk gets turned into cheese and yogurt and butter and milk, all sorts of delicious things. The big the big cow, who's a boy, is called a bull, and the baby cow is called calf. And cows say moo. Can you say moo? Moo. That's fun. Some cow, uh, some farmers have horses. Look at there's the big, big mama horse, and her little baby is called a foal. Sometimes the farmers ride the horse, and it helps them do some work. If the farmers have to move somebody somewhere, they can put the horse into the horse car. Some farms have sheep and goats. A baby goat is called a kid, and a baby sheep is called a lamb. And they have the sheep on the farm so that the farmer can shave off all of their fur, just like getting a haircut, and you can make a sweater out of their fur to keep you nice and warm. And the goats also provide goat cheese. I don't know if you've ever eaten goat cheese before. It's very tasty. Some farmers have chickens on their farm. Look at here's the hen, that's the mama and her baby chicks. Some farmers have ducks and there's the baby ducklings. Some farmers have turkeys. Look how big he is. He's one of the really big birds on the farm. And roosters, cock a doodle do. He wakes up all the animals on the farm and ducks. And the reason why all those birds are on the farm is so that the farmer can collect some eggs so that you can have them for breakfast. Some farmers have pigs. Look how big this mama is. She's so big and she lives in a building called a pigsty and her babies are called piglets. And when she's very tired, she goes into her pigsty for a rest. 
So here are some of the foods that you can get when you're on the farm. Maybe you could get honey. If you like honey, put your hand up. Yeah, I like honey too. You could get orange juice if the farmer grows oranges. The dairy farmer provides the milk so that you can have yogurt. The, um, the farmer who grows wheat provides the wheat so that you can have some bread and your cereal. Oh, and what about this? Does anybody here like chocolate? I think that's my favorite. So those are some things about the farm. I wonder if you're going to visit a farm one day. Hello creative kids, Gloria here from the Hazel Mirror Center. I wanted to do uh, this favorite from my center. It is a big book called Little White Duck. And something special about it is that children, preschool children like creative kids, have colored it and put their, signed their names to it. Something quite special. Okay, you ready to sing along with me? There's a little white duck sitting in the water, a little white duck doing what he oughter. He took a bite of the lily pad, he flapped his wings and he said, I'm glad I'm a little white duck sitting in the water. Quack, quack, quack. There's a little green frog swimming in the water. A little green frog doing what she ordered. She jumped right off of the lily pad that the little duck bit. And she said, I'm glad I'm a little green frog swimming in the water. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. There's a little black bug Floating on the water, a little black bug, doing what he otter. He tickled the frog on the lily pad that the little duck bit. And he said, I'm glad I'm a little black bug, floating on the water. Buzz, buzz, buzz. Uh-oh, there's a little red snake. Lying in the water, a little red snake, doing what he otter. He frightened the duck and the frog so bad, he ate the little bug. And he said, I'm glad I'm a little red snake, lying in the water. Uh-oh. Now can you help me sing this with a really, really sad, sad voice. Now there's nobody left swimming in the water. There's nobody left doing what they are. There's nothing left but the lily pad. The duck and the frog went away. I'm sad that there's nobody left swimming in the water. Boo! Hoo! Hmm. <laughs> Isn't it fun to sing in such a crazy, sad voice? Well, see you again. Bye. Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. Singfield here. I have a basket full of mixed fruits and vegetables. The farmers have been busy on their farms gathering up food from their crops. Please help me sort these out. We have vegetables and we have fruit. Did you ever wonder how grocery stores get their fruits and vegetables? They come from farms. Let's get started. Um, hmm, it's round and leafy. Any ideas? If you guessed lettuce or even cabbage, I'd say yes. But is it a fruit or is it a vegetable? Hmm, you got it right. I can't trick you, it's a vegetable. This one is very tricky. It's red and juicy. Any ideas? A tomato, you got it, but it's a tricky one. Fruit or vegetable? Some tomatoes taste sweet and some are sour. Any guesses? Tomato goes in. Fruit. It's okay if you didn't get that one. It's a bit tricky. Here's a green one. Some of you might have this with your dinner sometimes. B -b broccoli, fruit or vegetable? I can't trick you with this one. You're right, it's a vegetable. 
This one, long, orange, crunchy. Any guesses? We know it's a carrot. Good for your eyes. It's a... Oh no, not a fruit. It's a vegetable, right? How about this round, juicy, yellow, orange? Hey, that's the wrong color. It's a le le lemon. I think I'll just put that in the vegetables. Oh, wait a minute. It's a fruit. You are all good at this. This one might be a little bit tricky. Long, green. Hmm. Q, Q. Cucumber, fruit, or vegetable? You got another one. It's a vegetable. Some of you might have this one in the summertime with your dinner. Sometimes it's so sweet and juicy and crunchy. It's c c corn. It's a fruit. Oh, wait a minute. I can't trick you. You're all so smart. It is a vegetable. What about this one here? It's bumpy. This one's yellow, but they can be red, orange, green. Some are sweet. Some are a bit sour. It's a pepper. And a pepper is a vegetable. How about this one here? A pot. A potato, fruit, or you got it, it's a vegetable. This one might look a little bit tricky. Kind of a bean shape, but it's a little bit bumpy. Inside, there are round vegetables. Any guesses? This is a pea. And it's in a pea pot, and it's a vegetable. This one might look a little strange. Kind of has a fuzzy, orangey look to it. Juicy, has a big stone in the middle. It's a p -p peach, and it's peach. I hope it's not a vegetable. Our basket's getting really full. You got it. It's a fruit. Oh, something that's crispy and juicy and comes in green, red, and yellow. It's an a a apple. And you guessed it. It's a fruit. This is one of my favorite fruits. I gave you a big hint there. It's a strawberry so yummy and juicy. Let's get that in the fruit basket. One last object in my basket. Is this a fruit or a vegetable? I think it might be a fruit. No, wait a minute. Maybe it's a... a. Wait a minute. I think I'm going to eat this one. This is a donut. It's not a fruit or a vegetable. Thanks, boys and girls. Do you know the story, Brown Bear, Brown Bear? Well, this story is called Farmer, Farmer. Let's get started. Farmers, farmers, what do you hear? Nay, nay, I hear a horse. Horse, horse, what do you hear? Moo, moo, I hear a cow. Cow, cow, what do you hear? Ba, ba, I hear a sheep. Sheep, sheep, what do you hear? Oink, 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 I hear a pig. Pig, pig, what do you hear? I hear a chicken. Chicken, chicken, what do you see? 
I see a barn. Hello friends, it's Miss Pooja and today we are going to do a movement song. Are you ready? Let's sing. Little bird, little bird, can you clap? No, I can't, no, I can't, I can't clap. Little bird, little bird, can you fly? Yes, I can, yes, I can, I can fly. Little fish, little fish, can you fly? No, I can't, no, I can't, I can't fly. Little fish, little fish, can you swim? Yes, I can, yes, I can, I can swim. Gorilla, gorilla, can you swim? No, I can't, no, I can't, I can't swim. Gorilla, gorilla, can you climb? Yes, I can, yes, I can, I can climb. Elephant, elephant, can you climb? No, I can't, no, I can't, I can't climb. Elephant, elephant, can you stomp? Yes, I can, yes, I can, I can stomp. Buffalo, buffalo, can you stomp? No, I can't, no, I can't, I can't stomp. Buffalo, buffalo, can you run? Yes, I can, yes, I can. I can run. Today we're going to make a counting carrots activity. For this activity, you will need a brown piece of paper, an orange piece of paper, a green piece of paper, any scrap paper works, a marker of your choice, a glue stick, and some scissors. Let's begin. When you're using your scissors, please remember they're sharp. Watch your fingers and maybe you can get your grown-up to help you. All your fingers in the large hole and your thumb in the small hole. And open, close, open, close. On the orange paper, you can draw a carrot shape, any size you would like. A large carrot, a small carrot, you get to choose. If you don't have orange paper, maybe your grown-up can give you white paper and you can color it orange with your crayons. So I'm gonna cut out this carrot that I drew on the orange paper. Nice and carefully, open and close, and the scissors away from my body. Carefully turning the paper. And there we go, scrap paper over there. And that looks like the carrots that we're making there. With the green piece of paper, we need to make the stalks and it's nice and easy. You're gonna take your scissors again and you're just gonna cut the green paper into small strips. You can make them as long as you want. You can make them as thick as you want. These are your carrots for your activity so you can make them any way you would like. I've already prepared some of the carrot stalks here. So here's one that I was already working on. I have how many carrots? One, two, three, four. We're missing one right here. But do we know which one we're missing? We need to count the stalks to find out which carrot is missing. This carrot here has one, two, three, four, and one hiding here, five stalks coming out the top. So we're gonna write number five on this one. You can write your number five and practice your numbers or, if you look at the example I made, you can see you can write the word five or you can write five dots so we know how many stalks are on this carrot. Our next carrot has one, two, three, 
four stalks. I think this time I'm going to write the word four. F O U R spells four. Our next carrot has one, two, three stalks. This one, I think I'm going to write three dots to show the number three. The last one we have glued on here has one, two stalks. We're getting closer to know what number this last carrot is. I think I'm going to write the word. That's what I'll do. The number two, spelled T-W-O. Now, we have our other carrot here that's going to go right there. And we need to glue on a stalk. But if we have two, three, four, five, how many stalks do you think need to go on the first one? It's one. You've got it. So we need one more stalk. I'm going to take my glue stick. I'm going to put a little bit of glue to hold the stalk on this carrot here. And then I'm going to put lots of glue all over the back of this carrot so I can stick it on the brown paper. Flip it over and stick it down here. Just like I've already glued all these other carrots in their stalks. And we know from doing all of our numbers, this one here has one stalk. And I'm going to write the number one. And there's our completed counting carrot activity. Have fun! This is Five Little Ducks. Let's start by counting my ducks. One, two, three, four, five little ducks and one mommy duck. Five little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. But only four little ducks came swimming back. Four little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. But only three little ducks came swimming back. Three little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. But only two little ducks came swimming back. Two little ducks went out one day over the hill and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came swimming back. One little duck went out one day over the hill and far away. Mommy duck said quack, 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 quack. But no little ducks came swimming back. Quack, 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 quack. No little ducks came swimming back. Boys and girls, we've got a story today about the farm. It's called When the Cows Come Home, and it's um, the author is David L. Harrison. So let's begin. When the Cows Come Home. When the cows come home at the end of the day, they swish their tails and gently sway. And they chew their cud in a cow-like way when the cows come home at the end of the day. Look at there's so many cows. My goodness. But if the farmer looks the other way, the cows take off on a holiday. You never saw such cow horse play when the farmer looks the other way. Look, the farmer is looking towards his house and the cows are getting ready to sneak out of the barn. The cows play tag in fields of hay. Catch me if you can, they say. They ought to, you ought to see them dash away when the cows play tag in the fields of hay. 
They fiddle their fiddles and they shout, Hooray! Let's all sing at the end of the day. I thought cows said moo, but these cows are saying, Let's all sing at the end of the day. Let's square dance with a ho and a hey. And they fiddle their fiddles and they shout hooray. And they hitch their bikes to the farmer's sleigh and they pull their babies as they play. Oh my goodness, look at all the babies inside the wagon. And who would ever know that they could ride their bikes or pull a sleigh? I have never seen a cow riding a bike before. You can ride a bike, but a cow probably cannot. Hey, everyone in the pond, the cows say. Let's cool off at the end of the day. The last one in is an old blue jay. Everyone in the pond, the cows say. The cows are swimming. I wonder if cows can really swim. And then they laugh at donkeys when they bray, and they bring them onions for a bouquet. A bray is the sound that a donkey makes. And they somersault and prance away, and laugh to hear the donkeys bray. I'm so much fun. Open the gate! Let's run away! Open the gate so we can stray. They all want to leave the farm. Go on a little holiday. Should we leave or should we stay? Open the gate! We might, we may. Shh! They whisper through the hay. The farmer's looking around this way. Uh-oh. Let's swish our tails and gently sway. Shh, they whisper through the hay, giggling softly, the cows obey, and they head for home in a cow-like way. And the farmer winks and, min and milks away when the cows come home at the end of the day. The end. And that is when the cows come home. I hope you liked it. Thanks for joining me today. That's all we have time for. So join me in singing the goodbye song. Our day is done. We had so much fun. Learning with you. A doodly do. Now we must say goodbye to the day. Goodbye to you. And you and you. A doodly do. A doodly do. Thanks so much for watching watch learn and grow make sure to tune in monday to thursday at 10 a.m for more fun and excitement make sure you follow us on facebook and instagram as well as subscribe to our new youtube channel we'll see you all soon enjoy